Gentle souls, fragile hearts, praying for hope to start. And they're just angels. They're just angels. They're just angels waiting on wings. They're just angels waiting on Hi, I'm Darren Humphreys and welcome to the Angel Announcements on the 25th of August 2011. The top of the news, it's been a couple of weeks since the last Angel Man Announcements. That was mainly due to snow, some sickness in the house and us also observing the fourth death anniversary of my son Elijah on the 13th of August. A little more on that to come. The top of the news is that I was happy to see the Angel Man Announcements had reached 88 views on the YouTube channel. I've also created a site that contains all of the editions of Angel Man Announcements along with up-to-date news as it breaks from around the world and also a set of links, blogs etc. If you've got a link or a blog or a piece of news you think that uh, we should include on that site or I should include on the Angel Man Announcements please drop me a note at angelmanannouncer at gmail.com Now the site to check this out where you can also subscribe is Angelman Announcements. Dot wordpress.com Now to the news. The Vivint Gives Back project is in its final week with just four days left to run and there's been a twist. The Vivint team have announced that for, for, the, for the final days of the project they'll be keeping the voting totals hidden to, for some added sub suspense and excitement. So your votes will be counted and the rank of each charity is still shown as accurate but we won't be able to see the exact numbers so please keep voting each day big shout out to Marcel now Marcel has been putting together a number of banners and projects for the Vivint Gives Back project and there's been some truly awesome and inspiring artwork here's a couple of examples Gentle souls, fragile hearts Praying for hope to start they're just angels They're just angels They're just angels Waiting on wings Now some snippets of news that you can see the links to down here below. Family raises awareness about rare illness. Newcastle Rock residents Melissa and Adam Stone are trying to raise awareness about a rare neurodevelopmental disorder and new exciting efforts to cure it. Check out the link for more details. Uh, some news from Singapore. The profile of the Joan Bowen Cafe is raised after a rally. A tiny cafe is getting employment in a joint venture request after being mentioned in Sunday's National Day rally. Singapore's Prime Minister said the cafe is an example of community-led efforts to help youths with special needs. The Joan Bowen Cafe is tucked in a cosy corner of southeastern Singapore. 20-year-old Joan Bowen has learning difficulties but can work the kitchen like a pro. I did pasta and salad for a few months before I trained up to do the grill, she said. She's the daughter of Mr and Mrs Kong. Both wanted a safe place for disabled youths to work and to learn. For more details, check out the link below. Soccer program provides field for disabled players. Shikopi resident Lucas Tucker spent the first seven years of his life in a wheelchair. The 13-year-old has Angelman syndrome, a genetic disorder which often causes developmental delay, speech impairment and problems with movement. But Tucker continues to improve his walking and this summer he spent each Sunday night taking his movement to the next level, laughing, running and playing with the Top Soccer Blues program. Well, one of my heroes is my son here, there he goes, Elijah, Elijah Michael James. And on the 13th of August we marked and commemorated Elijah's death anniversary, uh, his fourth one on the 13th of August. Uh, 2007, Elijah died from damage caused by seizures that were part of the Angelman syndrome that impacted his life. 
wanted to share with you a couple of things about that. The first one is that someone made a comment and said this, your love for Elijah has engraved his courage, his strength and his smile on the hearts of many for generations to come. I guess our approach to Elijah's life is that uh, it's, it's not ended. Elijah's life has simply changed. And in a way, he's more alive and with us and we're aware of him now than we might have ever been before. It has been a tough journey. And as Abraham Lincoln said, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. A couple of the lessons that I learnt from my son Elijah was what it means to be loved unconditionally and what it means also to love unconditionally, to tread the untread journey. And I'm thankful for the companions on the journey such as, the, such as those of you who are watching this now. My friends from all over the world, in fact, uh, this week I met a family from Poland uh, who are looking to get connected with other families. There's no formal organisation there. And just tonight uh, a friend request from an angelman uh, dad who's in Spain. One of the really exciting things this year was that I discovered that August the 13th is Harry Angelman's birthday. Harry Angelman was born in 1915 and it means that it would have been Elijah's anniversary on his 96th birthday. Wow, what an awesome, humble, generous man. Had the opportunity to see an interview with both he and his wife Audrey recently on DVD. Going to, going to be some details about that being available to you if you're interested in a copy wherever you are in the world. And uh, no coincidence for me that uh, Elijah's death is on the day that uh, Harry Angelman would celebrate his birthday. Thank you once again uh, for walking with us and continuing to journey with us. Elijah sets a cracking pace and one of the things, a part of his legacy, is sharing his journey and helping raise awareness of Angelman syndrome and get pe people on board and supporting and caring for one another. Also I wanted to share with you about uh, Jade and the Walking Stick. This is a story written by Ryan Tipton, inspired by the story of a young girl with Angelman syndrome. Jade and the Walking Stick is a fantastical tale of a special needs child coping with the challenges in her life. Written for the author's daughter, the book symbolises the developmental milestones common to special needs children through a fantasy fiction narrative. A fable of acceptance and triumph, Jade and the Walking Stick should inspire others to face all of life challenges with a smile. Now this book is available through Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, Children's Chapters, Aliexpress, and it just has some really awesome stuff inside of it. Uh, we see the illustrations in which Jade meets the Wicked Syndrome and defeats him. It's also available through the iTunes store, so it's available to download for both iPod and for iTouch or iPad, iPod Touch, iPad, whatever it is. <laughs> and so I just encourage you to get hold of this, show it to your kids, give it to your family as gifts, get copies of this and get them into your local school or give them away even as Christmas presents coming up. This is a really awesome book and you can check out a link below for the story behind the story, an interview with Ryan and Keisha and uh, features Ray, uh, Riley as well. And finally to round us out today, Marianne Williamson says this, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate, our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond all measure. It's our night, light, not our darkness, that frightens us the most. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God and your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel secure around you. We're all meant to shine as children do. We were born to manifest the glory that is with it, glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we're liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. 
uh, from Darren Humphreys, the angel and announcer. Uh, God bless you. Ka kite ano. And looking forward to joining you again soon. Gentle souls, fragile hearts, praying for hope to start. And they're just angels. They're just angels. They're just angels waiting on wings. They're just angels.